They're losing their weight. They're leaving their schools and their scales are falling off. Fish on crack on the next Oprah Winfrey show, ladies and gentlemen. Um, wait, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. That was some funny shit. Now, a lot of people didn't laugh, so I'm just gonna assume you didn't fucking get it. So, let me just, let me, let me just say this. It's not necessary that you get all these jokes right away. All right, so like, if you don't get this next joke, laugh anyway, and then figure this shit out when you get home. A woman, a woman runs into the store, she says, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> but I need some D-cell batteries, please. The man said, well, come this way. The woman said, hell, if I could come this way, I wouldn't need no damn D-cell battery. Fuck a D-cell battery. Be cool, I only got a few minutes and a whole lot of shit I gotta cram in. First thing I want to say real quick though, is I just drove in here and when we was driving in, we came through a, a toll bridge and they said, you know, tokens only. So I had to drive all the way back to DC and get Clarence Thomas. Fuck me up, you know. Uh, threw me way off. Yeah, fuck me up. Um, another thing is, you know I live in LA now. Last time I was here, we talked about Rodney King. Since that, the riots broke out, and rightfully so. I call it an uprising, you know, because it was, it was well, well fucking overdue. And, um, and there's some things we learned from that, though, because I, I don't believe that we should have, like, tore up our own community. Fuck that. Go to Simi Valley. Fuck them up. Don't tear up your own shit. No, no, because, see, two wrongs. No, no. Two wrongs don't make a right. Now, three rights make a left, but two wrongs don't make a right. I called. The first day of rioting, I called my brother, and I said, hey, man, uh, what y'all doing today? He said, well... I'm about to go looting. Um, want me to bring you something back? And I said, fuck no. I'm believing that illegal shit. But if you come across one of those tabletop computers, you know, with this drive, hook me up so I'm waiting for a fucking call. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but there was no police around for two days. If you saw the riots on TV, you didn't see no police. You know why? We didn't attack anything that was important to the police. Nothing sacred to the police. Now, had we attacked a fucking donut shop, Police would have been every fucking way. SWAT team fucking frog me. Now, one more little thing I want to talk about. Gentlemen, you don't get but one ding-a-ling, and I believe that everybody in this audience is either fucking or know somebody that is. You got to protect yourself, and that's why I always carry this. That's right, it's a three condom, condom carrying case, ladies and gentlemen. I keep one for every occasion. I got one in here. For women I know well. Uh huh. Uh huh. I got another one a little bit thicker. Little bit thicker. Oh. That's all right, I'm flexible. Now that's uh, for women I only know a little bit. Now that's a Trojan rib. All the men in the audience together say Trojan ribs. Here we go. Trojan rib. All right, now don't be thrown off by the word ribs. You don't get no coleslaw and potato salad and shit like that. <laughs> And third, for a special occasion. That's right, I'm talking about a one night stand. I got a fucking steel belt. Radio rubber. <laughs> right here. Now, but let me tell you something, man. All I'm saying is go shop for condoms. It's a very simple message. There are stores everywhere that sell nothing but condoms. We got a store in, uh, on uh, Hollywood called Condom Mania. That's all they sell, it's on Melrose. Any kind of six foot condom, pull it over your whole. <laughs> they got condoms in there, they stuff inside a fortune cookie. They call it Nookie Cookie. <laughs> They got one called Camouflage Condom. Make your thing look like camouflage. And then the small printer says, don't let her see you coming. Yeah. 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 They got one. They got one in a plain package called Generic Rubbers. And then on the side and bold printer says, for cheap fuckers. They got a special one for the brothers. One condom, big old box like that. One condom, big old box, they call it Magnum. Magnum condom, they got the nerve to write on the package, larger than standard latex condoms. No shit, you can put a fucking rubber boot in the box that side. <laughs> but my all-time favorite comes from the Middle East. That's right, a Marine brought it back from the Gulf War, it's called a Saddam condom. Saddam, you open it up, got a little condom in there like that, and it says for a little prick that don't know when to pull out. <laughs> now, folks, 
as not to go over time this time, I'm, uh, um, I got, I'm down to one minute, so I have one last joke. Before I do that, don't miss the points. First of all, we must protect ourselves sexually. It's your dingling, got to keep it. Secondly, black man, let's get our community back by saving the community and saving our families. And third, and most importantly, trust God. Now, my last joke, I got to go. My last joke. Motherfucker, yeah, I love this joke. <laughs> this guy gets on an elevator. Now, there was a lady already on the elevator. So he turned to the lady, he said, excuse, excuse me, miss, but um, can I smell your pussy? <laughs> she said, you certainly cannot. He said, oh, and that must be your feet. <laughs> I'm Michael Kyle.